Hey folks, Jeremy here from Adreno. Today we're talking about how to pick the right scuba fin for you. Got a few examples. By the end of it, hopefully it's gonna help you make your decision. Or if you're completely confused, get into one of our stores and one of our experts will help you with the fitting. We've got a, a really good range here, a good cross section of the types of fins that are available to buy uh, and, and use as a scuba diver. And we're just gonna work our way through, starting here with a couple of blade fins, which are pretty typical of the kind of fins people start with. So over here, we've got one of the world's most popular and enduring fins, which is the Mares Avanti Quattro. So this fin, if you haven't seen it before, uh, it's, you probably haven't been out too much. So the Quattro, just, it's like the Toyota Corolla and of fins. This thing has been around for ages. It performs in all circumstances and is just a good quality, well-built fin. So we've got here some typical features of a fin in that it's got a nice channel, a powered channel that scoops a lot of water and then that's reinforced by a strong rail. And these are rubber reinforced through the rails on the side. So as that fin's pushing through the water, it's scooping the water and the rail is quite uh, responsive, yet still quite rigid, so it's helping propel you through the water. Perfect fin for all circumstances. You might be reef diving, diving in some currents. You could be diving with, you know, four cylinders, uh, tech diving 60 meters. This, this thing is gonna really still perform for you, whether you're doing a, a flutter kick, a frog kick, helicopter kick, um, kick in a footy, this thing is amazing. So really good quality blade style fin that you know has been around forever. The design is fantastic and it will continue to be an excellent fin and simple uh, spring strap at the back. So easy to use, great if you are a beginner, great if you are the most experienced diver on the planet. All, all divers, really great fin. Cressy Frog Fin, also a really good fin. You'll notice it looks a little bit different we start looking here at the difference between that with more of a fish style tail. Uh, well, look, they're all fish tails, but you've got here this more of a rounded tip in the quattro. When we look at that kind of thing, we start talking about uh, power. Often you associate that kind of shape. Think about your big fish, gropers, big Maori wrasse, that type of fish. Uh, it often has a big rounded tail to push lots of water, momentum, a couple of big kicks and boom, you're off. This type of fin here, we're starting to talk about uh, efficiency, water scooping off the blade quite, um, quite easily. And for those divers who um, don't, they're not looking for maximum power, but they're looking for lots of efficiency, uh, will sometimes lean towards this type of fin. The frog fin, um, really nice price. Uh, and, and sort of, uh, so a lot of entry divers will start with it, but it doesn't mean it's entry level quality. Again, rubber rails down the side, reinforcing that channel through the middle. And it even has a more rigid shape, the more, uh, harder you kick with this blade, it will actually respond more and change shape as you kick. Again, scooping that water, runs through uh, the end of the blade, um, through that softer tip through there, and we're getting, again, great efficiency. Uh, but a couple of the things are unique about this fin, wide feet, people with wide feet really like this rubbery side. So I had a number of people come in that, that really are struggling to find a, 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 a fin that doesn't give them foot cramps, and that's where this really stands out. As well as um, simplicity of your standard uh, fin strap with your pinch clips, so you can easily remove that, get out of the boat, uh, uh, out of the water and back into the boat. Simple to use, classic style, affordable, great place to start. So, frog fin. These are our, as I mentioned, our blade fins. Now, uh, again, flutter kick, frog kick, whatever style you want to use, it's gonna be great. Then we move on to split fins. Now, these are a controversial fin for some people um, because some people feel like they're not getting the power of something like the Quattro. I've been a split fin user for about 12 years, so for me, it's maximum efficiency. 
I've never really been in a situation where I really feel like I need more power than what I'm getting from these. Uh, someone like me, um, I'm feeling the aches and pains, played sport a lot, sore ankles and knees. This gives me the efficiency I require without feeling all of that force, the force through your shins and through your ankles. So I don't feel as tired when I'm using these. I've still used them to drag people back to the boat and kicking current. So if you're someone who is looking at a fin that you need to feel less resistance, yet still get uh, sufficient power, sufficient um, efficiency out of your fin, terrific option. Now, you'll notice again efficiency here, like that fish tail type of uh, uh, movement where the water comes through the blade rather than off the end of the blade. It allows you to power yourself through the water um, really, efficiency, uh, really efficiently. And we've got full rubber down the side. So that's then giving you a lot of uh, push back. Okay, so it's helping you push through the water. And then uh, the smoke on the water here by Atomic. Uh, now we're going to the spring strap. So we're talking about toughness. It's not gonna catch on anything or wear out very fast. I've had the same spring straps on mine for about 12 years. Really great fins, but you can, if you need to change them and keep spares, on and off like that, super easy. So the split fin, yes, controversial for those who, who really feel like they um, uh, want a super powerful fin, or some people who want to fin backwards for some reason, they don't like these. Well, for most divers, I think you'd find that's a fantastic, really efficient, really comfortable fin. And then that brings us to your full rubber vented uh, jet style fin. This is the uh, Adrenomanta. Now that fin in particular, uh, you, what you'll notice with a short rubber fin is durability. If it gets a, a knock, you cut it, cut it on uh, uh, exiting and entering a wreck, maybe some rocks or coral, the fin is still intact. This thing is not going to break down the new. So maximum durability in this rubberized fin. It's also very compact. So you'll notice the length here in the fin. These are actually the same foot size, okay? So a, me a medium fin, and the difference there is quite staggering, okay? So we're talking possibly about five, six inches there in that blade length. So on one hand, it's actually quite a good choice if you're traveling, nice and compact, but the purpose of these fins is um, being unbreakable, uh, uh, movement in small spaces, wrecks, caves, all that kind of stuff. This is gonna give you that kind of uh, maneuverability. So for those who, again, are using that frog kick or that helicopter kick where you just got more of an abbreviated kicking style, it's gonna allow you to push a lot of water um, in a small space. So they are a very good fin for that. Um, I find this style of fin, uh, again, because I, I highlighted the split fin, I find this kind of fin here doesn't suit my style um, much, but it's, uh, it's a very good style of fin for those who want um, power with a, you know, with a small movement. So a really good quality fin with a spring strap, and you'll find a number of different things like the you know, Apex RK3, super popular fin in the world. Um, you'll find uh, yeah, uh, Hollis F2s, you've got a number of different fins which are, are really good in this kind of context. But um, if you're looking for a fin that will help you in enclosed small spaces or um, give you uh, really maximum toughness, well then that style vented fin is a really good option. When it comes down to picking the fin for you, there's a couple of really key things. Do you know what? It's one of the first things you get a choice in when you're buying your scuba gear. Color, get something cool, get something you like the look of. You know, at the end of the day, if you're in underwater with scuba gear on, if you put a plank of wood on your feet, you're gonna move, all right? If you buy any one of these fins, you're gonna move, you're gonna be happy, but some of these fins will uh, fit you better than others. Some of them, as I've alluded to, will for, feel more comfortable in terms of uh, you know, how it feels through the legs and reduce cramping. And another big part of that is fit. So what's really important when you are fitting fins is that if you come into one of our stores that you bring your boots. If you're not bringing your boots and you're buying boots, fantastic, we can fit you there with uh, getting the right combo. If your boot 
uh, uh, doesn't fit you know, in, uh, correctly into the foot pocket, then what we're going to find is that you lose some of the benefits of the fin. If your foot sits too far inside the pocket, you lose uh, some of the ankle movement. And uh, if it sits too far out, it's digging into the arch of your foot and it will be very uncomfortable and cause, uh, cause cramping. So what we need is a, uh, a boot that sits about two to three fingers, finger widths out the back, unless of course we're talking about the split fin or the vented fin where we're talking probably more like three to four uh, because that style of fin requires a lot of uh, movement with your ankle, a lot of articulation we need a little bit more overhang at the back. Now I've got a couple of boots here that, to show that to you. So, uh, in particular, if we look at the Quattro here, what we're gonna find is about there, there's your two to three finger widths hanging out the back. That is gonna be a perfect fit for this diver. Now, uh, that's how you want it to look. Very easy, if you're in store, we can fit you like that. Um, uh, and so that's gonna be um, roughly the right sort of size. Now, that's your standard rubber sole boot. If we switch now to a rock hopper style, thicker sole, chunky boot, which you, you might even find dry suit divers wearing a similar thickness boot. Now this is the same size boot. Once we get that in there, you'll notice now we've actually got more like that four, you know, almost my whole palm hanging out the back you are now going to have that blade and that foot pocket um, or the platform and that fin digging into your arch. And you're moving more with your toe. You've lost all of the power of your leg and that, that thrust, so it's important to, to fit with the boot. If we move over to our uh, vented fin, so the moray here, you'll actually find if we put this particular boot in, we're gonna end up with that three to four finger widths out the back and that's about right for that style of fin. So it's important to recognize different fins will fit slightly differently. Different fins will benefit you uh, and your physiology and what's going to uh, feel comfortable, comfortable for you in the water, reduce cramping, uh, reduce fatigue, and also be suitable to your environment. So when you come in and see us, we're going to talk to you about where you're gonna be diving, maybe some of those physiological things. Uh, and help uh, with the fitting to help you understand the best type of scuba fin for you to buy. And maybe you're doing a combination of things. You know, if you're doing a bit of snorkeling and scuba diving, you might find that these two um, offer a bit more softness and comfortability on the surface, just because of the way it allows water to flush through the blade, rather than something like this bigger, uh, bigger channel here, which is gonna provide more thrust. When it comes down to it guys, as I mentioned, you can pick the kind of fin that you're really happy with and like the look of. You can color code and just and be done with it there. Or you can pick it based on performance, durability, price. But there's heaps of options for you and have fun doing it. Okay? No wrong choice, there's lots of great options. So come into one of our uh, Adreno mega stores, call our customer service team if you can't get into the store and they'll help you talk through the options of the right kind of fin to fit you. Thanks for watching the video and uh, happy diving.